Hi everybody. Hey, I thought I would just show my small fluval tank uh, that I just set up. I um, rescued a betta fish from the local school several years ago. Um, he was kind of left for dead. And um, so I rescued him and bought this small tank for him. And after, I think I have him, had him about four years or so, um, five at the most, he finally passed away. So I had extra tank. So I um, <clears throat> used some of my uh, rock and frog spawn. And um, I think I, I also have a rose anemone back here I put in there and uh, set this up. The pump is upgraded. It's not the stock pump. The flow on this pump that I have in there is at least double, um, possibly triple from what was in there. So the flow, well, you probably can't see the, the flow too well in the video, but it's pretty high. Um, and you notice the frog spawn is not fully open and it's, it's waving around. It's got some good flow on it. And that's Fred, my damsel there, who was in the back, one of my other tanks in the back. And now he has his own nice little environment and he has his cave structure set up. That's where he likes to hide in there at night. In fact, see, I spooked him a little, so he went straight down in there. Um, just a disclaimer. Uh, if you're seeing this video and you do not have a marine aquarium currently, I don't recommend you rush out and buy a nano tank like this um, because keeping the water stable in a nano tank like this can be kind of a little challenging. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm able to set this up quickly because I'm using the water from my main tank, which has what I call zero zero water. Um, zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and the nitrate is very low, almost zero. So what I do is I scoop out, I don't know, maybe a cup of water or so, and exchange it with my main tank every day. So this really is an extension of my main tank. If this was the only tank that I had, then you it's it's much more challenging because the you you know the top off you have to be careful with that now this does have a pretty good lid that's gonna uh the the water will drop in back in so you don't have to worry as much but uh, being such a small body of water is always a bit of a challenge you know if you were to do water changes you'd have to make sure that your salinity is pretty dead on so you don't have any sort of shock. Now the filtration I'm running is uh, Chemi Pure Elite, which is not the cheapest uh, filter media by any stretch. Probably be cheaper if I bought the bought some bulk materials and just you know came up with my own mix. Um, but it's it's good for now. Also, it took about three weeks, three and a half weeks to cycle the tank before I had anything in there. So if you're not familiar with tank cycling, I'm not going to cover that in this video. That's it's very well documented. If you're not if you haven't heard of that or you're not sure what that is, just Google up tank cycling and um, I'm sure there's a lot of videos on it. But that that's very important. I should mention that that that's something you have to do anytime you set up a new tank. Um, the livestock, like I said, is a bit of an overflow from my main tank, so. The rose anemone, the, this light is probably not going to be good enough. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've been feeding the anemone periodically, so right now he seems to be doing, or she seems to be doing okay. Um, so we'll see, but the, this light is not really uh, sufficient. Uh, Frog spawn's doing okay, it seems... Like it's it's hanging in there pretty well. So the light is probably something that 
will need to be upgraded, but for now it's it's fine. Um, if I were setting this up from scratch, I might go with like Sun Coral, something like that, that doesn't require as much, doesn't really require lighting that much. Um, and feeding is very easy in a small tank. So I'd probably go with something like that or, yeah, I put some zoos in here or something, but um, this is what I had. So everything I set up was kind of a low cost scenario. I didn't have to buy anything. I just, you know, brought the sand over some rocks and, and got it hooked up. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, let me know. And I'll leave you with Fred here as a close up. And there he is. He's happier in his in his new little tank. Probably outgrow this at some point, but right now he's he's enjoying it. All right, bye. Till next time.